Hey everybody, this is Jim at SP500Chart.com. It's about 4.20 on November 26, 2013. I'm going to read this to you, then we're going to take a look at the chart, and I think I'm going to make some changes in today's chart. But, but I want to explain why. So, before I get into it, let me just remind you that the website and the video are for educational purposes only and nothing stated at the site or in the video is intended to be used as investment advice. I can draw lines on charts, but you have to draw your own conclusions from your own research. And please, make investment decisions that are suitable for your personal financial situation. I am not a licensed financial professional. <clears throat> I am just a guy who draws lines on charts. And what I mean about your own personal financial situation, don't invest your rent money. You know, it, it, a matter of fact, don't invest money you're going to need a year from now. And if you're going to invest money you need five years from now, be very careful. But if you want to invest money that you don't need for 15 or 20 years, then you've got a little bit more time to recover from a potentially bad market. So, that said, let's dig in. Okay, starting out looking here at a 30-minute chart. And you can see what happened right here late in the day. The S&P had another little breakdown of small proportions, but still a pretty obvious break in what appeared to be this little hugging of this trend line. Now remember, this line goes all the way back to um, early October. It has two touches in mid-November. We broke that line back uh, 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 about a, roughly a week ago. We recovered. We today kind of hugged that line all day long until late in the session when it broke. But, again, you know what I'm going to say. When you break something by by um, less than a quarter of a percent, it's not really catastrophic by any stretch. We broke uh, the same line by about a half a percent back on the 20th, and we got back into uh, that channel. But I'm going to do something a little different. Um, I'm going to take this line. I do believe this this has value being on the chart because I don't think we would have seen the kind of behavior that we saw after having stayed on top of that line for about half the session. Then suddenly it cracks. That That tells me that there's something to this trend line that that it has some sway, that it has some some ability to influence the market. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to draw a trend line that is a horizontal line right here. This line is at roughly 1808. That's where we've seen resistance on the past two uh, days. And I'm just going to, I'll tell you why, I'm going to make that kind of a light blue. And, but here's the difference I'm going to make. I'm going to, I'm going to change something up here. Because it just, it looks to me as if this market still wants to go higher, but it doesn't want to do it the way I thought it would do it. I guess that's the only way I know how to put it. So what I want to throw out as as an idea is that instead of using um, this line as defined with this starting point way back in October we're gonna start with here in uh, in of the second week of November and I'm gonna extend it through the last low that we had back on the uh, 20th. I'm going to make this line 
my dark green line or darker green and then I'm going to kill this one make a parallel line here and you see how this may be an, an alteration that better describes what's taken place over the past three weeks or so. And, and there's one other thing I want to show you with, with if we go with this. Uh, and if we extend this back, see we really don't get uh, much going on uh, back uh, as we as we extend it backwards. But uh, if we look at at, uh, at a parallel line that, I, that that we had on the chart and I, I don't remember I was just cleaning up the chart and I saw this line sitting there and it's kind of interesting if you look at this, the pitch of this and you move it over here they are perfectly parallel so guys if you will bear with me and let me make that one change you know, I love to be able to put something on the chart and stick with it and and really kind of oh, what's the, what's the good way to what's the word I'm looking for? I like to be right, <laughs> okay? And I am willing to redefine this potential channel that gives us a little bit more room underneath us. It makes it to where we we can achieve a little bit more more uh, upwards momentum without being on such a fevered pitch, and it I, this just to me looks like if we ignore this spot back here in uh, in the second week of October, and just look at what has taken place once we got over that blue line. And remember that blue line is uh, is pretty significant because it uh, was defined by one, two, three peaks. It's not horizontal. It is slightly, uh, um, it is also in a slightly uh, rising pitch. But if you look at that line and you say, let's say that, that once we broke out over that line, we then establish a new trend. If we look at it like that, then here's our breakout. Here's our pullback, and now perhaps this better describes the trend that we've been seeing over the last, oh, well, let's just say through the month of November. So I'm going to make that change. This has not gone away entirely because I, we can see that this, this does seem to be exerting some influence on the markets. Matter of fact, I'll go ahead and extend that on out. But uh, today, you know, just essentially sideways, we're still over 1800. We're still over that 1802 high that was uh, set back on the 18th. And I think we still have some reason to believe that we should be making that 1810, 1815 target that is in this yellow box right here. Zooming in just a little bit. I believe we'll make that, but but I don't think we're going to make it. Um, well, let me let me put it this way: if this line continues to operate as we think it would, if this now is resistance, then then we would have to wait a few days before we make that target. That's all it really means. So, guys, here's a touch on this line. Here's another touch. We know that when we made those touches that they were uh, fairly technically significant, more significant than this one. So with redrawing this line for, uh, for more technically significant last two bottoms, we have a little bit different look on this chart. And I hope you're willing to, uh, to allow me to do that and to, to kind of maybe scrap this one for a bit. See if we come down, if we were to break 1800, let's see if we were to get picked up 
at uh, wherever we might happen to hit this line in the 1790s if it were to happen over the next couple of days. So guys, there's your uh, there's your video for November 26, 2013. I think uh, this little resistance line at 1808 will be interesting to watch. And it is also interesting to note that, uh, that if we make another little uh, sideways consolidation here, this could be the setup for the leg that would go up and potentially tag this line in the 1830s eight, or even more likely, frankly, for that to happen uh, down the road a bit when this line is actually in a, in a bit, bit higher position. So guys, this sort of threw me for a little bit of a loop uh, late in the day. It was looking like we may be forming, again, another attack at this. And I was thinking, come on, let's take that out and get into this, get into this rectangle. But instead, obviously, the, uh, the S&P sold off from 1808 and change. Let's see if we get the strength in the next three to four sessions to come back to this line, take it out, and then move onward and upward. Because I think it still looks to me like the markets want to do that. So I want to thank you for watching. And again, I kind of apologize. I feel bad when I, when I, when I erase something off the chart and I say, maybe that's not exactly right. But, you know, especially the way it happened this time, because everything was on the chart already. I just decided to do this today. And uh, please bear with me in my forgiveness if you, f if you feel wronged by that line fading away now. Um, but the good news is we, we still have not broken that by a technically significant margin. So we, we may recover and just move on up over that thing tomorrow anyway. So th thanks for watching. Take care.